Back in the States, our vending machines are very bland and boring, but here in Japan, you can get a warm bowl of soup, alcohol, toys, and other miscellaneous items from vending machines that look just like this. What the hell did we just buy? There's a lot to do here in Tokyo. Uh, of course, eat good food, meet some awesome people, and then, you know, maybe even fish and shop a little bit all along the way. But the one thing that Rob and I really wanted to do was check out the vending machine here that lies within the city. Back home in the States, vending machines are boring. You can get like a Kit Kat bar and a Coke. Whereas here, you can get like a warm meal out of a vending machine, ice cream, cake in a can. There's even vending machines out there that are completely random and mystery. You, you shove seven dollars in the machine and it pops out something at random. This is how today's video is gonna work. Every vending machine that we stop at, we're going to buy something at that machine, whether it be, in this case, toys, I guess, or trinkets, or food. There's some that I think even sell alcohol too, which is absolutely nuts. Might as well. Let's see what they have. Uh, it's kind of this is kind of for my daughter. This I guess. kind of weird, yeah. So like when I travel all over the world, I always get something for my kids, like little trinkets. Now this wouldn't be kind of weird. I mean, the Pikachu. She's not into Pokemon, so it doesn't really. You get her this creepy face mask. Yeah, no, I see that. Yeah, it's a little strange. We should get this for Rackley. The peanut. <laughs> it's a peanut pen. It's a. <laughs> I feel like you can finally touch peanuts. You can touch then. peanuts, dude. Let's use, let's use, we're already having to use translate for the first vending machine. What a bunch of idiots. Oh, we're learning how to use these vending machines. Apparently they don't take credit cards, at least that one doesn't. So we have to get a specific card in order to purchase things at a vending machine. We've only been here for a day, so we're learning as we go. Okay, we figured it out. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So we've got this Suica, Suica card, Su Suaka card. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's spelled S-U-I-C-A. It's got a little penguin on here. And I think I just tapped my phone to that vending machine and we can, we can get something cool. Oh dang. So I just lost money. Oh, did it come up? Oh, oh. oh. That, already down <laughs> uh, so I bought two. All right, let's open it up, Rob. Our first vending machine experience here in Japan. I hope I got the creepy guy. No, I did. What the hell did I get? <laughs> did you get the creepy guy? Yeah, I did. I got a painting of the creepy guy. Look what I got. Dude, that looks like the, the uh, woman from uh, The Incredibles. Yeah, this Exactly what it Darling, is. you look fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. First experience in a vending machine in Japan. Um, All right, now we're excited because now, now really now weird. We figured it out. Yeah, now we figured we it out. Now this we got cool. it. Now we got it. Well, we're about to hop on a train here, and we uh, stumbled upon yet another vending machine. This looks like it's got drinks. What does the see what the other side has? This is all like Red Bull. This is little water. Yeah, this is black little coffee, normal. fruit juices. You got grapefruit juice, maybe some apple juice. <laughs> Rob just went on the other side. I think this is, I, I was about to say, I think this is a soup. Is it soup? I think it's soup, yeah. Canned it's, soup. I think it's crab and that looks like corn Should or I something. Try it? I mean, yeah, I don't know what oh, it is. Oh, it comes out hot. Ah, it's soup. It is soup. Hell yeah, there we go, we got some soup. Okay. Is it that oh, it's out. out. Dude, yeah. you got, it looks it like you're good. stuck not getting crab, dude. Oh, that one came out. How hot is it? It's warm. Dude, that's crazy. It's warm. That is canned soup. It's like really warm. Yeah, this is a warm can of, I believe, corn soup. <laughs> Let's look it up. Let's see what yeah, it is. Let's see what it says. Hot corn soup. Hot corn soup. So this translates to directly to hot corn soup. Hot corn soup. I'll tell soup. you what, it looks just like hot corn soup. And the other wild thing that we realized too is we purchased our last vending machine item. We had some garbage and we we're looking everywhere to find a place to throw it away. There's like no public trash cans at least over here, so it's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. Dude, it actually smells, I just spit everywhere. <laughs> it smells pretty good, give it a whiff. It smells like hot corn. Am I gonna be the guinea pig on this? <laughs> You're the king. king All right, king, so we've king. gotten the creepy doll and hot corn soup so far here in Tokyo. Damn, that is like warm. I mean, I'm gonna try it too, so. Pretty good. It definitely kicks everything else's ass that we have in the States. It tastes like warm cream corn. Is That's there like corn awesome. in it? Dude, get like a big mouthful. There's corn in it. That's good. There's a little bit of corn in it. I love That's this. That's actually really good. I give this vending machine item an eight out of 10. I give the last one like a one out of 10. Yeah, that last one sucked. But this one, there's some really weird stuff, by the way. I found one online that legitimately sells used underwear. I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere. Oh, we're gonna find it. Here. So, sandwich. It's like katsu sandwiches. Katsu sandwich, yeah. So this? this one is fried pork loin sandwich. This one's hamburger. Uh, hamburger. 
This one is fillet Ooh. cut. So it's a I'm cutlet. guessing yeah, cutlet. And then this one is volume fillet cut, so maybe big. Oh my god, this is a hamburger steak on a plate with, with You should get one you should get dude, that and I'll get a sandwich. With corn? Alright. Let's see, how do we what do we got going on here? How do we get into this? There we go. Alright. Let's do four. Come on, give me that filet sandwich. Or what was it? Cutlet? I don't know what it was. That's so crazy. It's got some girth to it. It's got some girth to it. I can Shall we try? It. Is it warm? It's definitely not warm, but there's these ones over here, dude. I need I need 600 yen. Okay. There it is. Oh no, it's 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 cold. It's, it's cold. You got to heat it up. Yeah, it's it's cold. <laughs> it's, it's sick. It's, it's yeah. It's um. Uh... Sweet meat. Should we try this right now? Dude, it's like a pancake. Is it's a pancake. Is? Yeah. This is the first vending machine that we've seen and found that serves food. Tonkatsu sandwiches, including like fried filet and beef. And then Rob got some sort of like, I don't know, like little filet mignon dinner. It comes with like mashed potatoes, corn, and a little tiny piece of meat, but unfortunately it's cold. And then we also got this other thing. It looks like a pancake sandwich, but we're not sure what it is. What does it say? First thing we got is the sandwich. It comes with a wet tissue, so you can wipe your hands here. You want, you want a little bit of, you got greasy hands yeah, right now. Yeah, got some nasty little hands. Dude, and this is crazy. Think, think about this. This is like straight up real Japan. We're underneath a train eating some boxed feet. Like, look at that, or boxed meat. Try it. It's probably not bad, right? I mean, they've, yeah, been, really they've been around since 1949. I mean, it's not warm, but it's not bad. It's like a, it's like a fried chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Is what it is, right? Yep, it's, uh, I think it's beef or pork. Here we go. Oh, a little thanks. weird. Give me a hiccup. I don't like it. It's kind of good. What would you rate these vending machines? No issue. If I was on the go, I'd give it like a seven. I was gonna say seven too, because they got water next to it. Yeah, this They've is good. They've got sandwiches and also like some sort of dinner thing, which Rob got. I but, didn't get um, the Yeah, it kind of sucks. We gotta heat it up. Just carry it around, we'll heat it up somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll heat it up. I'll put it between my cheeks as I walk. <laughs> All right, so this one's gonna be a little weird. What's in the middle? Can we open it up? I don't know, it's sweet. It's like pancakes, but this is this oh, is the, this is weird. Sir? I don't know what it is. Does it taste like a pancake? No? No. It's like beans or something. Oh wow, that's really weird. What is that? It's like legitimately like beans on the inside of a pancake. It's like sweet beans, yeah, sandwiched in between two pieces of pancake. It's that is so weird. <laughs> that is exactly what it is, I think. It's like beans inside of a pancake. I'm gonna go back to my sandwich. This is our third vending machine stop. Not bad, like I said, seven out of 10, super solid. First one we found food, and I guarantee it's not gonna be our last. We found the mother load of all mother load vending machines. It's not just food, there's actually some interesting items. This one's got little boxes that are wrapped up in newspaper. Yeah, that's weird. That is so weird, honestly. Dude, look at this. A Panasonic remote for an AC. <laughs> what? Some oh of the stuff God, in here is so the random. There's all these different beetles. Oh There's a, just a giant thing of sleigh bells. <laughs> this has got to be the weirdest one. I don't even know if I want to spend my money over here. This is so strange. And then every one of these uh, vending machines have got the boxes with, they're just mystery boxes. <laughs> sleigh bells are amazing. Sleigh bells are crazy. What is this? This looks like a pregnancy test right there. God, is it? I see what it looks like, yeah. But this one's amazing right here. <laughs> Just someone's Panasonic remote. Oh, I think it's time for us to buy something on one of these vending machines. I'm probably not gonna need anything to eat just because of how weird these are, but I do wanna see what's in these boxes that's wrapped up. 35, here we go, a moment of truth. To figure out what the hell is in these things. That's really creepy. There's just some guy back there pushing it. <laughs> Small, strange man. Whatever what the is. hell did we just buy? Okay. Oh, there's a note. This is really uh Yeah, you're not gonna be able to read the note. Well, I can translate it. My population's 
interpreter was fired from Team R for gambling with Mr. Otsu's funds of 68 million yen. It seems that he also went something to a casino school. However, if the amount is large, I don't, dude, I don't know. This is just random. I'll take a picture of this. This is just the most random little note that they left us. So this note was attached to the back of this box that we just bought at this vending machine. Yeah, I get it now. What is it? It's the interpreter for Otani. The interpreter? Yeah. Apparently he's attended the casino school. If the money is being transferred, we're talking about. Gambling is said to be worse than playing with women. It is said that drinking, gambling, playing with women will ruin your life. Moderation is important. It's also quite possible that behind the scenes there is a shadow of anti-social forces that may be hidden. I'm really worried this could hold Otani back. <laughs> this, this is about Shelly Otani. I'm not even kidding. The, the, uh, the baseball player? Yes, was fired from team after transferring 680 million yen from funds from a large newspaper for gambling. Why would this be on the back of a random? <laughs> I don't know. Is his like finger in here? That, dude, that's like gotta be the most, that's, okay, let's just open this up. This one's $3,100. I wanna, I, I, we, we gotta, gotta get, get another one. If this one's this interesting, we'll get another one. What the hell is this? I think it's food, dude. Cream, co cream colon. <laughs> cream colon. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All the suspense for this? Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way. Cream colon colon whatever. How much is a thousand yen? That was kind of a lot of money for this. You wanna try one? No, I don't. It looks like horse pellets. Oh, it's, it's food. It is food, yeah. They are like, um, you know, like those little straws they put in the milkshakes? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what it tastes like. Looks like a dog treat. Yeah, I mean, it, it's cream colon, so it could be. That's got to be the most underwhelming surprise ever. Although, there was a really creepy note about Otani. What's his first name? That's so weird. About Shoy the Atani. Shoy Atani, about the yeah, baseball player. Let's try another one real quick. Okay, I, I like this random stuff. Yeah, this is a different goes. shape. Than the, yeah, different okay. shape. Different shape. I want to see if the note is the same. The Shohei Itani thing is really weird. That is so crazy. So All right, dude, I'm gonna let you deal with the mystery machines. I like I like you with the. Oh, you want me to open? Yeah, them I like up? you doing the mystery okay. machines. Does this one have a note? This one's got a note too. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. This is cracking me up. So we have another note on the second mystery package that Rob bought. This one's less expensive. It was only. 500 yen. Same thing? When I was a student, I had no money at all, so I worked part time as a light fixture for an old. <laughs> what is going on? What is going here? on? Okay, here we go. And with this package, we've got kids. Kids animal crackers. <laughs> because, well, of course. So I'm going to give these a try too, just because we're guinea pigging. This says hawk on it, because <laughs> it's a hawk. Um, these actually might be dog treats, so I'm going to put those back. <laughs> those are really gross. <laughs> I honestly think it was worth spending the money just for the notes. I didn't know the notes were going to be like that on the bag. The this notes is are great. funny. All right, well, I think it's time we move on, go find some uh, less creepy vending machine items to uh, to purchase. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. I am so confused. Like, someone, if you're watching this video, explain to me why these are here and what the hell these notes mean. <sighs> Moving on. Nice. They even have Mountain Dew in the vending machines. I was feeling a little parched after that weird little interaction earlier, so I think I'm gonna calm myself down with a nice do. Even our friends from Do are here in Japan, and this is our now fifth vending machine find. How to get a nice cold pop out of the machine, out of the robot, the street robot. All right, let's keep hunting for some weirder stuff. I nerded out a little bit, and uh, Bought some Pokemon cards, got some boosty boxes. Here in Japan, the booster boxes are much smaller, but the hit rate's much higher. So Rob and I are gonna put some booster boxes later. But on the way out of this um, this whole like Japanese card shop, we found another vending machine. This one serves you fresh squeezed orange juice. There's actually literal oranges in here. And if I had to guess, this machine is gonna squeeze the oranges and get, and get the nectar of the gods out of it. Me, orange! Let's go, there goes the orange. Come on, let's get that orange. Squeeze me, that orange. Okay, I'm afraid this is gonna, can I take it? Yeah. Oh look, they, oh, they put plastic over it too. Look. Grab me a straw, and we're good to go. What's cool about all these um, vending machines too is they always tell you the temperature of the vending machine, so you don't have to guess whether or not it's like 
gonna be fresh. So this one's seven degrees Celsius. I mean, that is some fresh squeeze orange. You gonna try? It's really good. No? I don't like orange juice. Really? <laughs> no, not at all. You'd like, you'd like this orange juice. I don't have any machine. Uh, just yet another thing that you can acquire from a machine here in Tokyo. Day. The rain has subsided. We have seen now the sun for the first time here in Japan. It's amazing. It feels warm and beautiful, but we are not done searching for these here awesome vending machines. Tokyo is not our only destination. We plan on going to Osaka and Kyoto, but uh, before we leave Tokyo, we figured we'd check this vending machine out here. This one doesn't sell drinks or food. It actually sells Pokemon cards. I'm a bit of a, a Pokemon nerd myself, so I'm actually pretty stoked about this one. I kind of want to get these, this, or, or no, this one. I think the more you spend, obviously, the but better chance you have of getting. Pokemon, though, right? Yeah, they're yeah, they're just trainer cards. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's a couple different tiers. You can spend two thousand Japanese yen, one thousand, one thousand, and two thousand. I'm guessing the more expensive cards or the more expensive option you pick, the uh, higher chance you are of, of I want receiving the something, uh, something of worth. I don't know. Are the Pokeballs down here? Is that how that works? No, I think it's just advertisement. All right, I'm going for it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. What do you think I got, Rob? I hope you got something amazing. Oh my God, that's it right there? That's it. I think it's one card. No. It's got a little tiny gold stamp on it. It's not one card, it's is it? It's one card. Is it really? It could be something awesome. I mean, these are all fairly expensive cards. Let's see what we got. Did I get ripped off? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I got absolutely ripped off. <laughs> it's it it's, it's a secret rare, which is cool. A little SR down there. It's a secret rare, but... It's a girl in a fox outfit. Yeah. She's a, fur, she's a furry. Yeah. This isn't worth anything? I don't think so. And there it is. Now... Pick, pick a bug? bug? Which one do you think? This one? Uh, let's do uh, this one. Where's your bug? I don't know what this is. Like, is this a real bug? Or is this like fake bug? Or what, what, what did I just buy here? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go out this way. Okay, let's go check this out. Let's go find a nice quiet place to talk about this. Peace and quiet. This is, I think, our ninth vending machine we've hit. And it's, again, something completely different. They had a bunch of bugs all over the side of it. Uh, we put in 1,100 yen and out Oh, came, I know what it is. I think it's- a, it's, a, it's edible bugs. Edible bugs, yeah. Yeah, it's in a little black- Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. You gonna hold out your hand for me? No, dude, no. I didn't even think that about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is it, what is it, scorpions? No. What is it? Just hold out your hand. No, I don't want anything to do with what's going on in here. The cockroaches. Oh my. Edible cockroaches. That's insane. No, there's just no way. Yep, that's what they are. Vending machine cockroaches. I'm not gonna do it. If you're not gonna do it, I'm definitely not gonna do it. <laughs> no way. Okay, we're gonna find some of this. We're gonna find someone who wants uh Did you know that's what it was? No, I had no idea. I'm glad I now I know. Now I know to not go with those vending machines. Luckily it wasn't that much money. Let's um You can buy bugs. Let's go bring this back. Three to the hotel. cockroaches. <laughs> Welcome to Osaka. The hunt for interesting and unique vending machines has not ended. We've completely jumped from Tokyo all the way down south to a new city. We are on Dantanbori Street, I believe, which is well known for its bustling population of hungry and curious pedestrians. There's food here, there's shops, and most importantly, some more vending machines. We found a new genre of vending machine that doesn't sell food, doesn't sell soda. It actually sells, that's right, alcohol. There's an alcohol vending machine right here, and next to it, we've got cigarettes. Rob is gonna buy me some sort of alcoholic beverage. I'm excited for this. There's actually signs on here that say, no one under 20 can buy from these signs, but I've literally never in my entire life purchased alcohol from a vending machine. What'd you get me? It's new, and it's 6%. That's Kieran, nice. Rob got me a Kieran out of a vending machine, and the crazy thing is, is it is legal to drink in public. But it's not the original Here Kieran. in Japan. It's not the original. This is the original. That's the original, yeah. I got you this red one, something different. I think it's got more alcohol on it. <laughs> I'm perfect which for I'm, you. Which I'm down with. Are you gonna get one too? Yeah, I'm gonna get something. Here, let me pick one out for you. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> 250. There you go, Rob. 
we go. The rich. I say six percent, so we're both on we're the. We're both on the six percent. We're, we're on the six percent game. You ready? All right. Cheers, buddy. Vending machines and beer. How's yours? Terrible. Mine tastes like dog. <laughs> <laughs> mine's, mine's so gross. Terrible. <laughs> it's like an IPA. Yep, that's what it's this gross. is too. Yep, this is terrible. Yeah, not a fan. Anyway, let's keep hunting for more yep. interesting vending machines. Welcome back. We've continued the hunt for vending machines. This one's kind of interesting. We found a whole row of coin vending machines. No drinks, no food, but toys. It's gonna be the last and final vending machine on our trip here in Japan. Sad to say we're leaving in uh, just a few short hours, but we're not leaving empty handed. That's why I've got a couple coins here. We're gonna turn these coins into some awesome, cool trinket. See anything uh, interesting, Rob? Any Hello Kitty? Let's do, uh, let's do this one right here. Pokemon, here we go. 300, got 300 yen right here. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we can get. It's completely random. Actually, I am gonna get this for my daughter right here. You should. You're gonna get another one? Yeah. Gotta catch them all and see what we got. Oh. Well, I broke it. Oh, nice. It's. Who's that Pokemon? It's. Chickpea. Who's that Pokemon? It's Lentil Bean. I have actually no idea who, which Pokemon this is. This is kind of, this Pokemon might be too new for me. I know the original 151, not whoever that guy is. What'd you get? I've got something else too. I saw that there was some. You can put this on your keychain and always remember me. <laughs> Dang it, I'll try to eat the Hello Kitty is one. Is it not Hello Kitty? No, I'm gonna try again. I got some blue bird thing. That's in it's not, that's not what I'm looking for. Here, Damn. let's try some. Well, there you have it. You can get everything from warm meals to cold drinks and neat trinkets here on the streets of Japan just by inserting a couple of coins in the vending machine. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Let us know if you should come back to Japan and explore some more cool, interesting vending machines that are here in this amazing country. We'll catch you on the next one, and uh, Rob's going to drain his bank to come try to get a Hello Kitty. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode of The Guggen Squad. Welcome to a story of two teams embarking on a journey of discovery on two islands, worlds apart. Follow along as John B. and Rob Turkla head to the ancient and modern wonders of Japan, while Lake Fork Guy and Lojo set course for the vibrant and tropical paradise of Puerto Rico. Welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode. In Japan, the boys will traverse a land where ancient traditions meet modern marvels. From the tranquil shores of Lake Biwa to the bustling streets of Tokyo, our explorers will delve into the heart of Japanese culture, savoring the unique flavors the island offers while uncovering the endless angling opportunities that lie within. You know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby. Meanwhile, in the Caribbean paradise of Puerto Rico, LFG and Loja will immerse themselves in a vibrant culture that pulses with life and rhythm. With its golden beaches, verdant rainforests, and the crystal clear waters of the Atlantic, Puerto Rico is a haven for adventurers and anglers of all skill levels. Join us as we journey across the globe where every catch and every bite tells a story. This is the Island versus Island Worldwide Challenge.